Hi there, this is Shiva. In this video, I will teach everything about outlining, which is one of the most important steps in Islamic art because it gives depth and details to your motives. I'm gonna tell you about materials such as brushes, ink, papers, and a good practice prior to outlining. At the end of the video, I have two different clips for outlining slimy motifs and khatai motifs. Let's get started. For outlining, you need some ink, a ceramic plate, some water, and a brush, and a paper. I have different brushes. I want to tell you about the difference between them and you will learn what is a good brush. For outlining, we need a high quality brush with a sharp point and natural hair like this one. And it should have a good amount of hair at the bottom of it. You can find various brush brushes, for instance, this is a beaver tail brush and you can see the size. And this one is a cat tail brush. Or this one is a handmade beaver tail brush and as you can see it has lots of hair and it is not good for outlining. These are normal factory made brushes and they don't have natural hair, so they are not good as well. Your brush's hair length should not be very long, like this one. Let me find it. Here it is. Like this one. You can see the difference in length or it should not be so short like this one. Choosing good materials will help you to work and learn easily and it will be a good idea to choose them at the first carefully. Outlining brush should be separated from other brushes and we should not use it for colors, gold or anything else. As you can see, I put a sign on mine. To conclude, you need to pay attention to some qualities while choosing the outlining brush. First of all, the hair is not so long and does not have too much hair without a sharp point like this one and not too short as this one it should be a good amount of natural hair with a very sharp tip to find out you need to uh, try some brushes and find what is best for you and you can see all the difference here at the same time And if you use a brush for a long time, all of the hairs will be lost after a while. Now let's look at the ink. We need a dry ink. You can find it in Iranian or Turkish bookstores, or you can put your own liquid in to get dried. This is a powder one. It is so dark, so be careful while using it. It is so hard to clean it from the floor or carpet or even your nails. You need to put a small amount of the dried ink and a ceramic plate. It is very important because if you use a plastic plate, 
it will damage your brush in a short time. To prepare my ink for the first time, I should use a normal round brush and please don't use your high quality brushes in this step. I add some drops of water and it will dissolve after a while. You need to play with it and continue playing until the whole ink become liquid. Then put it aside to have a dried ink again. It takes some time to dissolve all of them. But we do this step only once. Now let's go for the main step, which is outlining. Before starting to work, you need to put the hair of your brush inside water for some seconds. Then add some drops in your plate and start to dissolve your ink again. But this time is easier because you dissolved it before. Please pay close attention to the angle that I hold my brush for dissolving the ink. You should never use the tip of your brush for dissolving it. Then hold the brush in two fingers and try to hold it at the 90 degrees angle with your paper. And start to draw some straight lines with the point of your brush in different directions. In this step, you will learn about the good amount of water and ink yourself. By doing it yourself, you can find the best ways of doing it. Try to make them in different directions and try to have the thinnest lines. The second practice is to use your wrist and make some circle, circular lines. Start making some circular movements and you need to concentrate and focus on the lines. And uh, in Tessib, all of the lines are circular and uh, should, they should be at the same thickness and the thinner is the better. Try to use only the point of your brush. In Tessib, as you all know, Motifs are not that big, so try to start with small circles and make some spirals to learn outlining. You need to practice a lot. And try to make some spirals, some circles. with no rush, slowly and focused. I love outlining, it is so calming a step and you cannot think about anything else without while you are do doing it. Some small and big, bigger circles and spiral movements and feel free to make any shape that you like in this step. You just need to learn how to make the thin lines. Practice makes perfect. At first, it must be challenging, I understand. It was the same for me. But after a while, you will learn it and you will do this step very easily. After 
after practicing spirals and circles, we need to go to real motifs. But if you want to use your brushes for a long time, you need to clean them carefully after working with them. Be so careful about the paint, the point of your brush while drying. Repeat this work some, sometimes and then you need to put your brush aside. Now we can go back to the motifs you already learned and practice and try to outline them. Your paper should, uh, should have a smooth layer surface and practice different motifs that you already learned. And you will see the improvement step by step. In the next clip, I will see other forms of motifs, so bear with me. In the real artworks, motifs are even smaller than this flower. You need to follow the lines and practice. Take your time at this step. Now let's go and look at Simi Motifs outlining in one of my real artworks. Before it, we can see the final shape of this flower. I'm raising the pencils and you can see it. As you can see, it is a very slow step, but for the sake of this video's time, I changed the speed a little bit.
I hope this video is helpful in your artistic works. Please ask me if you have any question on the comments below this video. I'm making more videos about Tassif in the traditional way. So please subscribe if you are interested. See you on the next videos.